Hello from Washington Square, New York. I'm Jane and today I'd like to share with you the three tips on finding an accommodation during your exchange study. Tip number one, use multiple resources. Tip number two, always inspect the property before committing to the lease. And tip number three, always read the fine print and don't be afraid to negotiate. Tip number one, use multiple resources. I use a combination of Airbnb, Apartments.com, and Street Easy before finally committing to a property that I like. I find that by using multiple resources, you are able to find out what the market price of each type of properties in the areas that you are thinking about. So for example, I was looking for a two bedroom apartment either in Manhattan, in Brooklyn, or in Jersey City. And by finding out what the market price is, you will easily find out if, um, if a listing is severely below the market price, you will you'll easily think that it could probably be a scam and that you, know, you need, should steer away from it. Tip number two, always inspect the property before committing to the lease. Photos can be deceiving and I have found a property uh, that looked really good on the photos, but once I inspected uh, the property physically, it was actually really, really small and in a location that was quite far from the subway. So always inspect the property just to make sure that uh, one, you like the interior of the property and two, you like the surrounding as well. Tip number three, always read the fine print and don't be afraid to negotiate. So once I have found the property that I like, the agent didn't actually list all of the details on the contract. I requested for all of the details that we have agreed on to be listed on the contract just to make sure that we cover all bases. And also, don't be afraid to negotiate. Uh, the property that I have finally settled on, um, my initial budget was around four to 5000 a month and their initial listing was 7000 a month for this actual same property. Uh, yeah, and by negotiating, we were able to find a middle ground and I'm currently renting it at 5500 a month. So those are my top three tips in finding an accommodation during your exchange studies. If you like this these tips, uh, please press the like button, leave us a comment and share with your friends. And don't forget to press the subscribe button so that the next video will go straight to your box. See you next time.